Yeah, when you talk about the Larry Bird Trophy, you can take your pick in this league. Indiana State has a load of them, but you cannot deny what number 12 has been able to accomplish again and his leadership. But Evansville wants to show that this is their night. There's their starting five. Bob Thomas Strawbridge. Now he has some scorers around him, along with Toomey and Humrickhouse. And this is Toomey. He is really something. A 6'10 senior forward. The French forward can make things happen, and so can Ben. Humrickhouse lost it, though. Tucker ahead to Connor Enright. And Enright with the hard drive to the basket in the miss. Yeah, Drake in transition, one of the things they will emphasize tonight. They're really good in transition. Evansville's got to do a good job as we see Bob hit the first three of the game. But this is going to be a little bit contrasty styles tonight, Tom. You've got Drake, some smaller guards, fast playing transition. You've got Evansville with great length, not as quick on either end as we see Brody, player to watch. So contrasting styles, some matchup nightmares on both ends and of course we'll see who wins the battle over 40 minutes for years evansville ran a motion offense yeah. how do they play today well the motion offense with marty simmons when evansville was very good very difficult to guard marty did such a good job when he was here they're more of a five out they've got guys with interchangeable parts and positions multiple guys will handle the ball as we see brody with the little hook pass kick out they do push the ball, Evansville does, not as fast as Drake, but just a skill set with length. That one off the backboard and coming up with it for Drake. Here's Overton. He is something to watch, too. The freshman 6'5", put together out of Oklahoma City. Yeah, Overton has been a, such a pleasant surprise for Drake as a freshman. Not a lot of freshmen these days, but the transfer porter that impact the game. But Overton struggled a little bit the last four games shooting the ball. But he is so impressive, left-handed, can do a little bit of everything. DeVries with the ball fake, and they get it back over to Overton for the shot and connects. Yeah, and that's big. Like I said, he hasn't shot it quite as well three of the last four games, but you see that left-handed, nice, pure stroke as we see one of the better defenders in the league. And you talk about matchups, Tom. As of right now, Coach DeVries has decided to put probably their best defender, Enright, on the best offensive player for Evansville, Hummerkaus, and still give up that about, I don't know what, nine inches, you think? Yeah, I They're going to post so. him up here. Enright doesn't lose him. He catches right back up with Hummerkaus, who tries to post him up a bit. Now back outside, and Enright just fronting him, won't let him catch the ball. It'll be fascinating to watch that. Yeah, well, Enright is just an absolute competitor on that defensive end. He's had been a little sick. You see him a little fatigued already. That is Enright because he expends so much energy. So we'll have to watch his minutes, his, his uh, conditioning level, as, again, he guards one of the most dangerous players in the league in Hummer House. The entry pass to Brody, and they're able to rotate it back around. It is right, and now back to Brody, who misses the reverse, and it'll go to Evansville. So a good stand there by the Aces. Yeah, key for Drake this year when they've lost so much firepower from last year and such a veteran team, Brody. is in the best shape of his career. He plays heavier minutes than he's ever has, and he's more consistent. Big man out of Newark, New Jersey, Darnell Brody, a true postman, big man in this league. Strawbridge to Toomey and misses Iron there. You'll see Evansville, all five guys will shoot three, sometimes not real well, as we've seen one off the backboard and one, well, two off the backboard, one off the corner. But Toomey is a threat with Brody. He's going to get that shot all night. Toomey will. Adam Wright tried to get it to Brody out of bounds. It stays here with the Bulldogs. 23 seconds on the shot clock. We're just about three and a half minutes into some Valley basketball on a Tuesday night. Tucker DeVries trying to get things going and splashes it in. One thing about Tucker, he can always get a shot off because he's got such a high release and he can fade over both shoulders. So as long as he gets within about 12 feet, he can get a good look off. It's just a matter if he can make it or not. 7-3, the Drake lead. And they're trying to post Hummerkaus here. They did switch on a little back screen, so they got DeVries on him. Tried to force that in. Bob did. Sometimes when the, the play's not there, just make the easy pass, move it around. Don't try to force it in the post, especially if your passing angle isn't great. And that, that was not a great passing angle for Bob. This Drake team averages just under 80 points a game, 79.4. DeVries can't get that to fall, and Toomey with the rebound. That thing had a touch on it, bounced on that rim nice and soft. 
Here's your keys to the game brought to you by Grinnell Mutual Insurance. Yeah, I got him, Ben. We trust there. Evansville is 1-7 and seven without Ben Hummerkhaus, 14-3 and three with him. So can they continue that hot play? Then value the ball as we see Hummerkhaus score. They value the ball because Drake is so good in transition, and Evansville is not great with ball care, so they've got to take care of the ball. Drake, they've got to utilize their speed and then trust the leadership of Tucker DeVries, who is an elite competitor, not just maybe could compete for all newcomer team also. Uh, but you look at him physically. You, you mentioned it, Tom. As a freshman, he's put together physically and the ability to shoot the ball. But he also probably has somebody to emulate in Tucker DeVries with his work ethic and a guy who he can work out with, similar size, as we see Brody and Pose's will in the post. But, yeah, Overton's a, a terrific-looking freshman. Brody with the putback, and Drake goes up by four. This Drake team, we alluded to it in the open. They just drilled Evansville the last time they met on January 20th. 97-48 was the score there, but Evansville played a number of competitive games after that, losing at Northern Iowa by seven, then rattling off four wins in a row before a gut-wrenching loss at Murray State just this past weekend by three. Yeah, you said go wrenching. They had two free throws. Hummerkaus tie game uh, with about six seconds left. He misses two. Murray State comes down and hits a three at the buzzer. So how can you respond to that is always a question. Looks like they've gotten off to a fine start, probably brushed it off. Here's a drive and running out of room, looking for Hummerkaus. And above Enright's head, Hummerkaus able to get that one. Now it's Toomey. You see kind of a five-out look here, Tom. That's what Evansville does, clear space, give guys room to operate as Toomey takes a tough shot. Good defense by Brody. Going but again, right in there and getting that board was Overton. Yeah, you just see the pace with Drake. They want to push it. They want to get spread it out, ball screen attack, get the ball to DeVries. Here is Bobe. little shovel pass ahead, straw bridge, and the rebound and put back by Humrick House. Coach DeVries not real happy with Enright right there, missing the blockout opportunity. But that happens because of penetration. You turn your head, and Hummerkaus takes advantage with the weak side putback. Hummerkaus, the 6'9 senior out of Tipton, Indiana, just north of Indianapolis. Got my attention in the pregame when they showed on the video board they were asking him quick questions. Favorite baseball team, he said, the St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, it made you happy, didn't it, Tom? Yeah, you liked did. that, didn't you? When the pitchers and catchers reported today, there's a long three by Tucker, and it won't go for DeVries, and the rebound to Evansville. Very good defense by the Aces there to force a tough shot. Thomas No tipped up numerous times, and DeVries able to come up with it eventually for the Bulldogs. Again, transition, get back, use your speed. If you're Drake, Evansville, you've got to set your defense and then contain. And right. Hummer Cows following. Now they go inside. Brody had it stripped. Here comes Strawbridge. Little back pass to Hummer Cows who buries a three. Hummer Cows, he's really, really talented and good. A, a transfer from Huntington. You mentioned hometown of Tipton, Indiana. Enright hits one. Might have gotten hit on the shot, too. Great three from Enright. Yeah, Enright's not a guy who takes a lot of threes off the dribble. But uh, good response after Hummer Kaus hits that three in transition. A really good uh, note by you and observation by you about him. He is breathing hard out there. Enright is. is yeah. Evansville with the drive and score to tie the game. Yeah, Brody's got his hands full with Toomey. It's just a matter of can Toomey play to his strength and use his speed and quickness as opposed to back downs. And now yeah. Wright gets fouled on the drive. Technical foul early here. And that's where the two free throws will be awarded. This is a technical foul. And Tucker DeVries, who else would you want up there shooting free throws? Maybe Larry Bird. <laughs> Steph Curry, Reggie Miller, I'm yeah, not sure, but the list know. isn't real long. No, no, that's true. Blake Ahern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this could be a, well, it could be a seven-point possession if you hit a three here, um, but obviously a, a four-point possession if he makes these two and then they get the ball back. Uh, again, I didn't see, we didn't see the replay, but it's a play where uh, we got a veteran officiating crew right here, so I, I trust they made the right call with that. And a play you've got to avoid when you're competing against 
a team like Drake. Drake doesn't know they get the ball. That is true. So Rick Crawford and Timio Petty, Chance Moore, our officiating crew here today. They have things under control, and Drake has taken the invitation and made four free throws. It's 16 to 12 in favor of the Bulldogs and the ball. It was a tie game at the start of the foul and ends up being a six-point game. So that's a six-point possession as we talked about DeVries' ability to fade with this high release, even going against a, a defender with some size, and that's one of the reasons Tucker DeVries is so difficult that, to guard. That's a shot as this one goes in on the other end for Joshua Hughes. That shot by DeVries, I feel like if he shot it 10,000 times, <laughs> it would go in 9,999 times. Well, one of the reasons is work ethic, and he was practicing that exact shot. If you're a young player, what you want to work on, whether it's in practice or before the game, are shots that you will shoot in the game. And DeVries Offensive has mastered rebound. that. And Drake continues this possession. There's a big three by Hughes there. Again, six point, six point possession by the Bulldogs. And to come back and cut that to a three-point lead, of course, big shot by Hughes. Outside it goes, and the three is missed by Gibson. But an offensive rebound and another opportunity in the basket good for Kobe Garland. Ferguson doing his job. Two offensive rebound kickouts leads to a two-point bucket by Garland, another terrific freshman. Comes off the bench. Smaller point guard doesn't shoot it great as Hughes tries to go two for two. But yeah. you see the size difference here, Tom. You see three small guards for Drake, and just Evansville has got such great length. So Drake's speed, skill set versus Drake's versus Evansville's length. Huge matchups, huge keys to watch. Colby Garland in there, number three, another good defender. Here he is with the ball and another shot in the air, and good for Colby Garland, the freshman out of Magnolia, Arkansas. Not a shot you expect a guy to take or make. Garland is only three for four, say three for 14 from three in conference. Shot that one like he's 14 for 14. Garland with five points. He's a point behind DeVries for the team lead as connecting on the other end for Evansville is Hafner. That's a terrific pull up by Hafner going to his right. So a six point game. Evansville trying to weather the storm here. It was 12-12 after Drake converted with four free throws and ultimately a six-point possession on a DeVries jumper to go up six. They lead it by six, and now a chance for Evansville to cut into that lead. Great recovery by Hummerkhaus, who helps on the drive, then recovers to block the shot by Ferguson. Back up here, this is one thing that Evans gonna do is, Evansville is going to do is just clear guys out and back you down. They get lucky on the deflection, and Bailey, another very talented freshman for Evansville this time, recovers that with the layup. Yeah, I kind of feel like this freshman group right here, Cuff, Bailey, gives them great energy. They really revolve in many ways around the play of Tanner Cuff, number one. Yeah, Cuff and Bailey both can lead the team in scoring on, on any given night, as you said, two freshmen, and guys that have skill, size, athleticism. DeVries with the miss. Here they come. Bailey's aggressive in transition. Easily their most aggressive player in transition as he gets the hand one. You see a little skill set from the from the young freshman. Has has not shot it as well recently. Doesn't shoot a lot of threes, but has had some big time scoring games. Evansville actually, Tom, has nine different guys who have scored in double figures throughout the year, which is a lot. Bailey, of course, one of them. So they have a, one of their strengths is they have a lot of guys who can have bigger nights. And you don't, when you're preparing for a team like that, of course, you have to guard everybody and respect every player on the court. If you're a college basketball player, you're a good player. But that has one of the reasons why David Ragland's group is better this year is they do have more guys that can step up on different nights as we see Bailey get five quick points. A terrific play by both freshmen. And Bailey from Detroit making his presence felt and making it a one-point game. And right. Trying to get through the screen. Overton now. And a foul is called. And that is going to be a two-shot foul as Overton was going up for a shot attempt. Yeah, it was a tough call. I thought we'd see the replay, but it looked like Overton Initiated the contract on the contact on the drive 
but you don't see this lineup really often with for Drake where both Brody and DeVries are out as they show the replay on the board as my guest and we hear this very unbiased crowd react to it I'm sure as all home crowds are and you can go with the old Rasheed Wallace there ball don't lie Tom you ever heard that yeah I have <laughs> Not uh, true, but no. <laughs> guys like to say that when they don't think they fouled and the guy misses a free throw. Over 10, attempt number two goes down. Much to the dismay of this crowd who delighted just seconds ago. <laughs> Two-point lead for Drake. You know, I thought we'd have a good game here, and I, I still think we do just because Drake is one of the better teams in the league. Evansville, as you said, playing so well. Well, I really like Bailey's aggressiveness. Misses the shot, though. It's Garland. Drake's got to be able to take advantage of, them, of Evansville in transition, specifically without their two leading scorers out. They'll struggle to score in the half court once the defense gets set. Enright lets one go and hits it. Connor Enright knocks take, down the three. Take that, Muller. We won't struggle to score. I'll just J a guy <laughs> off the dribble. For Enright's second three off the dribble in the game. Again, not, some, not a shot he makes consistently, but so far that flu bug may have gave him a – well, extra shooting ability. Bounce inside, and Hughes gets fouled. Eight points for Connor Enright, leading all scorers in this game. We've hit the under eight timeout, Drake. So yeah, the, good stuff there. Yeah, and then you had a bunch of teams right there between six and eight and eight and six, and with six games left, there's a whole lot of jockeying for position for fourth. Not that you couldn't catch third potentially. Uh, as we get an update there, just I checked, Illinois State up 48-47 to 47 at Indiana State with 11 minutes left as Hughes misses the first free throw. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. I love talking about the Larry Bird Trophy. Great Southern Bank in the Valley, proud to recognize the league's player of the year with the Larry Bird Trophy, especially when you see the talent in the Valley go to other conferences, Antonio yeah. Reeves. Yeah. Uh, you've got Lance Jones. Yeah. You've Damask. got Rick Mass. You've got Marcus Damask. And then they just reload. Yeah. You know, they just keep putting out great talent. Oh, Brody is blocked by uh, Hughes. And on the other end, Bailey comes up empty. But what a block of Brody. You don't see that very often. Great block. DeVree, Coach DeVries calls a cross screen play for Brody. Another turnover here. And Bailey's going to attack and transition. That's kind of how he's wired. He missed the layup earlier. He got, drew the foul that time. But going back to that, Brody with the cross-screen play thinks he's got a wide-open layup. And Hughes, you see the size of Evansville. they got so such great length most of the time on the court. And yeah, just a Hughes, great recovery. Hughes goes 6'10", the Australian from Brisbane, Australia. Has the ball in his hands now and will calmly take a shot. Misses it. And DeVries with the rebound. Brody said, you can have that. <laughs> I'll stay back here. <laughs> Hand off. Overton now to Brody. Hughes out to guard him. Bounce to the cutter. Overton and can't get it to fall. But loose ball to Enright. One thing about Brody, he's an underrated passer. He's so good at backdoor passes. Enright. Enright. Yep. Comes up short that time. Yeah, you switched two off the dribble. You miss a wide open one. You miss the rim. So... That's kind of how it works sometimes. Gonna, basketball for you. Yeah, again, this is Cuff. He loves to back guys down, and so you have to decide if you're going to send. They do send a double team at him. Bailey. And on the other end, a three falls. They continue to rein him in, and Evansville with... A one-point deficit as Strawbridge hit. And on the other end, it's knocked down by Overton. Tell you what, a lot of threes being taken by both teams. Exciting basketball. Evansville has six different guys who have attempted a three. And then, of course, Drake, you got Overton and Enright knocking down multiple threes. What a game. Three balls have gone down, four of them for Evansville, five for Drake. That one missed by Hughes. And here comes DeVries on the run. It was actually a play call to down screen Brody to get Hughes a three. Brody couldn't get that one. Hughes got a hand on it. Here comes Bailey with the lay in. Evansville cuts it to two. We're seeing some young freshmen play some good basketball. Overton on the Bulldog side. And Bailey with the scoring explosion here with seven quick points in the first half. Mostly in transition about the rim. <laughs> you got Bailey and Enright battling. He's 
hand checking. Enright slapping his hand away. Yeah. Tell you what, you had two whistles go off. I think they are both going to call different calls. Chance Moore with the first whistle with the hand check on Bailey. I think Antonio, Antonio Petty was going to call an offensive foul as Enright was grabbing his arm and, and swiping it off. Two-point game. And that's even with DeVries not doing a lot yet. Evansville's done a great job contesting his shots as Drake players and other guys have picked up the scoring. But at some point, usually, old Tucker DeVries finds the bottom of that, bat, of that net. We'll see how he finishes the first half. First foul on Bailey. Team foul number four for Evansville. Right to DeVries. Strawbridge trying to stay with him. DeVries falls down, gets fouled, and he will go to the line. Crowd doesn't like it, but veteran crew here. Let's see what we got. Both officials raise their arms, so it's usually. Yeah, so see that arm? See how his left arm's down? It's at an angle when he goes up. That's an easy call. If you put your arm straight up, which most players, what happens after a whistle is because you get hit, then your arm ends up straight to the air. And guys hold their arms straight up, so fans think they were straight up to begin with. But that was easily violation of the the verdict of the, I don't know the right word here, but DeVries gets from the floor to the ceiling to go up. In conference play, DeVries ranks second in the league, 22.4 points per game. And in 20-plus point games, he has 13 of them. In conference play, eight points today. Drake by four. Strawbridge tried to loft it up, and this one is knocked away. Got to throw that thing higher. Let Toomey go up and get it. Toomey is very athletic at the rims. Got good hands. Yeah, different look to this Evansville team this year. They have depth. They have athleticism. They have intensity on defense. And they have some good freshmen. I like the way that team looked with Cuff and Bailey out there. No question. Now we got... Again, they're trying to get the ball in the post to Humrick House. DeVries on him, so there's not such a great size advantage. Long three. It hey. goes down for Strawbridge. Shooter. Well, three-point shootout here, Tom. It's multiple. we got about five or six makes per team. It's a lot from if you're watching at home. Usually these teams average between eight and nine per game. They are identical. Five of 12 from three. And this one is missed. No good for Garland. Here come the Aces. Chance to take the lead here. Hummer Kaus. Try to get around Gibson. Now it's Toomey. He'll take it. Just inside three. Knocks down a long two from just off the top of the key. It's a shot Toomey loves. He'll face up, and if you're not guarding him, he'll just shoot that little 15-footer pretty consistently. He'll make a three, but that's a better shot for him. Those and then around the rim, so... You got to be able to guard him, especially if you're Ferguson. Brody's not going to guard that, but Ferguson's got to take that shot away. Three for their last three. Evansville has taken the lead. A bounce inside and back out. And Wright has it fall in. And the Bulldogs back on top. It's actually pretty good defense. Contest the shot. Wright gets on the board. Kick out three. But back and forth we go. Hummerkaus now showing off some skills and. He is fouled on the drive. Garland giving up about a foot and a half, I think, on Hummer Kaus, but he's a competitor. As you see a little program history, that's a pretty big deal. See Toomey, he goes 6'10". Hummer Kaus out there at 6'9". This Evansville team has length. They have Cuff out there now, along with Thomas and Bob. This is Cuff. Trying to work on DeVries. DeVries can defend too as he gets into the lane with Cuff. Now he comes out to help Bobe. Toomey. Shot clock at one. And it's long and it's back to Drake. Great defensive possession by Drake. Forced multiple tough passes and finished, of course, with a contested deep shot. Right, wide open, missed the three. Rebound Cuff. Last few minutes of the last couple minutes of the half with the close game. See who can go in at halftime with the lead as we see the quick hands of Garland. He's such a pesky defender as a freshman. 
Get steal and a bucket. Freshman to freshman. I bet they're roommates, too. Three-time freshman of the week, Overton in the Valley. And that is the first steal for Drake. Evansville's had four of them today. Four-point lead for the Bulldogs, shooting 43% for the game. Evansville shooting 46%. That'll help. Hummer House with the basket. Garland with great feet, but Hummer House, one thing that he has, and this is very difficult, but he has got great touch. If we have size and skill, if he can get within about five feet, he's really efficient. Good no call there. DeVries came to a stop on the kick out. Overton all alone missed the three, and now Evansville's got a chance to tie or take the lead. Minute and a half before halftime. Yeah, they're going to go to Hummer House in some way, somehow, I think, because they got to get him. They got a little mismatch on size. To me, they wanted the foul. Crowd is screaming, pleading for a foul. To me again. And that goes for Toomey. He was guarded by Ferguson and Drake was trying to switch, find a way to stop him. They have Indiana fans, Kentucky fans, USI. Yeah. And then you go across states and everywhere else. UE is desperate to get a stranglehold back on the college basketball fan base in this town. It is there for the taking. There's a rebound taken away by Toomey. A little clear out play for DeVries to drive right. Just very good defense for forcing DeVries to take a tough shot, which he missed. Cuff gets it to Bob. Shot clock at single digits. Cuff backing him down. And Toomey tried to get the rebound over Brody and couldn't move the big fella. Here's DeVries. That's a tough shot by Cuff. He's used to being able to back guys down. DeVries got a little too much strength for him to be able to back him down and get to a good shot. Last second shot, I mean, last shot of the half here. There's about a one-second differential. They'll either bring a, a screen and fake it and sprint him out, or they'll just clear it out for DeVries and allow him to attack and give him some space. Boom, oh, like a little slip play there. Turnover. Ooh, almost. Almost. The shot clock ran out on Drake. 1.7 on the game clock in a tie game. Overton went to fake the ball screen. We, I used to call it a sprint slip. A lot of coaches call it a ghost screen. He tried to fake that screen and sprint out for a three. DeVries thought he was going to roll. Luckily, they got the ball back so they could set their defense. But great job by Evansville. See if they can... 1.7, you got one dribble, maybe two at the most, and jack one up, see what you got. And here it is, it's Cuff, and it hits the back iron. You want some good basketball in the Each other twice, so it is, it will still be in the hands of Indiana State. You have to hope for a loss. You can't, you know, you control your own destiny. But this, uh, Drake's got their hands full right here with this Evansville Aces team as we start the second half. Yes, they do. This has been some game. We are tied to start the second half. Glad you're with us for more Valley basketball. And Wright gets it back in the corner. He's knocked down a couple of threes already. Drake's this really one trying. Is lost. It is a live ball sliding and getting tangled up. And now it's... A bucket and a stoppage in play as we have right here at half court and right holding his side, his left side, right around his abdomen. He is down in pain as there was a tangle right in front of us. Hummerkow scored the basket. We're a little more concerned with Enright, who is helped up and will come off the floor. Yeah, it looked like the, the, the when, he scrimmed, when he dove on the floor, the Evansville player, they kind of dove on top of him, not anything illegal of course but probably just hit his hip on the floor when the trainer comes on the court he has to leave the game if the trainer did not on, come on the court he could stay in but substitution for end right we got garland coming in the game and here is garland in the backcourt with Wright. now devries and the miss but a rebound brody brody looking for a cutter now he'll take it himself darnell brody misses the shot and toomey gets the rebound yeah and that's his shot good uh, good look for devries out of a play call he slipped the screen and faded with this quick release that's brody's shot just missed it a little bit short hummer 
Keeps his dribble. Hummer Kaus tried to dish to Toomey. And coming up with it is Garland. Here come the Bulldogs. Look at Garland. Making moves. No look pass. It's right off in the corner. And he'll bring it back out. Right. Second leading, third leading score on the Bulldogs. Only one for three in the game. He's got to be more aggressive for this team on the road. Other guys are playing, stepping up. But Wright's got to. He's got to get aggressive offensively at some point. Good defense, and then Hummer Kaus with the foul with four seconds on the shot clock on the drive by Overton. Another thing that's impressed about Overton, left-handed freshman, really still still very good at driving it right, which is for his size at that age is, is very impressive. So 20 on the shot clock for Drake. Down by two on the road at Evansville. Well, ducking for Brody. They like to get the ball to Brody early in the halves. Brody draws a lot of attention down there. And then Bobe was able to take away the pass. What a dish inside to a cutter and the basket by Thomas. And a timeout is called. Evansville has a four-point lead. Presented by Great Southern Bank. Or visit archmadness.com for details about this year's event. Arch Madness will be wild without yes. a question. Well, again, you see the top team go down to Illinois State, second place team right now down to a very good Evansville team. So you said it, Arch Madness. Pack your bags. Anybody can make it. Anything could happen. Illinois State walks into Terre Haute and wins 80 to 67 tonight. Now you have the number two team, Drake, getting knocked around by Evansville here at the start of this second half. Yeah, quick time out there by Darren Vries. It's just a disappointing start to a Drake team. They're sluggish, turnovers, step slow. You can see it. So let's see if they can pick it up. Garland, the look into Brody. He draws three defenders. They are surrounding Brody, and he finds DeVries. Tucker DeVries with the mid-range shot. That's a tough shot, uh, Brody. The great cross-court skip pass out of the double team. DeVries, very difficult to guard on the closeout, but that's a tough float shot. He's just got such great touch. He can score in multiple ways, as Hummerkaus can also. Hummerkaus to the basket, and a foul call. I think it's on the floor, but Hummerkaus has guards on him most of the night. Right now, Garland and Wright spend a lot of time on him. So when he can, he's getting in the post to, to get the ball, and that, that, that foul was on the floor, I thought. Oh, he's giving Gone. him two. Changed it. So two shots coming for Ben Hummerkaus. He has 11 points. He is perfect from the floor. This is his first free throw attempt. In fact, Evansville has only shot three free throws this entire game, two for three. Well, we talked about it earlier, Tom. Evansville is 14-3 and three on the year when Ben Hummerkaus plays. One of those losses was their last game at Murray State where he had two free throws with six seconds left to win it. And they lost it, but you see how good this team can be when he's in the lineup, and you're seeing it tonight because he makes such a big difference on both ends, to be honest. He does. This Drake team powered by Tucker DeVries. There he is, guarded by Hummer Kaus. These two are going to go at it and may determine who wins this game. Brody, double team, gets through it, lost it. Here comes Thomas. Thomas looks at Hummerkaus, has him, three ball. Bucket. Ooh. And a rebound, DeVries. It's been a clear emphasis by the Bulldogs to go into Brody early in the half. Coach DeVries is going to get away from that, not working out real well, although they go back to him. He draws a crowd. Gets it back to DeVries. Cross-court pass gets away from Garland, but he saves it from going out of bounds. And now Brody scores. Crowd doesn't like that right here on the sideline. They, they had a they close view ball, of anybody. They thought that ball hit the sideline or the foot. I'm not sure which one. We can't see it. It was just out of our sight. And this one by Strawbridge won't go. Evansville still with the lead here. But things have been able to swing back into Drake's favor. Again, right, uncharacteristically unaggressive tonight so far. They rotate it to right. And he buries a three. There you go. I talked about it. He's going to need to score because this Evansville team can score the ball. 
They still went into Brody to initiate the offense. They're double teaming from the baseline side. He's done a better job kicking it out with taking care of it. Bobe now guarded by DeVries. And DeVries just took it away. They were trying to go inside. Now Thomas almost had a steal. DeVries surveys the situation. Picked up by Bobe. Wright cuts into the lane. Wright, who hit a three, now gets a two. Okay, maybe he's going to get heated up here. Wright's got great body control. He's physical, even though he's small. He gets in the paint. He can also make a little fadeaway. 7-0 run for Drake over the last minute and a half. Coach Garland calls it a play so they can get a little ball screen action, a little back down here by Strawbridge with the smaller guy on him. Can the Aces punch back? Toomey spinning and can't get it to fall. Everything but the finish. Garland to right. A little step through and can't get that one to go. I think Hummerkaus got a piece of that. I'm not sure. Could you tell on that shot? Maybe a bit. Yeah, again, you see Hummerkaus' defensive ability with his length. Thomas looking for Hummerkaus. He mm, cuts. Post up. That goes to Toomey. Strawbridge says, I'll take it. Bang. <laughs> That's three of them for Strawbridge today. Three threes, two in the first half, one in the second half. Remember last season in a tough year for Evansville, it was Strawbridge who was carrying the scoring load. Now he has some help, and here's a steal. Toomey gets by DeVries and throws it down. Evansville takes the lead back. Drake averages less than 10 turnovers per game. They are now up to eight, I believe. Nine, nine turnovers now, so uncharacteristically. DeVries cuts to the basket and scores. Yeah, we talked about it. We'll see if Coach Gar Raglan pulls the double team off Brody. Drake's kind of got a beat on that. He's passing the ball better out of the post. They're getting good looks. Leading to easy baskets. We've got a tie game here. Tucker DeVries has 12. Hummerkaus has 13 for the Aces. He's posting up inside. Toomey's going to take it and hit. Again, it's a shot, Tom. He doesn't usually dribble first, but he's very good at about 15 to 17 feet with the face up. And Brody's basically looking at him like, go ahead, man. You can shoot that you want. I'm not going to guard you, but he's going to have to adjust also. Toomey now with 10 points. He's in double figures along with Hummerkaus. DeVries starting to light it up. Abe can't get it, though, and the rebound bounced to Thomas. Got a bunch of subs at that bench again, Tom. Guys are tired. When you have fatigue, you've got to stay focused on your on your fundamentals. Just stay solid. Don't make mistakes. You can see them all sitting in front of the table. As Strawbridge attacks and scores, and he's five. That's good for the middle of the pack in this league. A tough, tough customer here in Drake and leading them by four. Kenny Strawbridge, 11 points so far, chance to go to 12. He's made three threes. He averages about one made three per game. How do you beat the second best team in the league? You have the other guys step up and play well. And that's so far what's happened. Three point play. Strawbridge has 12 points, three aces in double figures now with Hummer Kaus. Strawbridge blocked there by Hughes. Toomey also in double figures with 10. We'll have another media timeout after this 12 minutes, so it'll be quick with that late under 16. Enright kind of got lucky there. He jumped way too far off one foot. He wasn't going to make that shot. Almost Hughes, lucky that that ball went out of bounds. Hughes has two blocks. Remember, he blocked Brody earlier. Yeah, he's got some length to him around the rim. You can just see the overwhelming size difference between these teams, two teams, and... Drake has not been able to use their speed as an advantage in transition. Part of the reason that Evansville's taking care of the ball so far. Four on the clock. Long three. Goes oh. in. Oh, my goodness for Garland. Again, Garland's made three threes in conference so far. 314. That's his second make. And that one was a deep at the end of the shot clock. Bonus points for the Bulldogs. What a turn of events. Evansville was ready to. Go up by three possessions. Yeah. Now it's a two-point game. Nearing that under 12, Enright on Bailey. 
Now Strawbridge gets around DeVries, can't get it to go, but it's tipped up and in by Hughes. Strawbridge's penetration brought everybody to collapse, including Ferguson, who tried to block the shot. Hughes with an uncontested putback. Those points were made through thro because of Strawbridge's penetration. DeVries. They look back outside to him. What a fake, what a shot there, and what a dish from DeVries to find Overton. Yeah, I thought DeVries passed up twice. He could have shot that ball, and he's going to need to to win this game. But that right there worked out with Overton. That's his third three of the game. He's out of his slump. Absolutely. One-point contest, 11-16 to go in the game. MVC Scholar Athlete Honors, the MVC's Elite 17 Award recipient in 2023. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll be holding the MVC Baseball Championship here in Evansville in nice. late May. It's always a great season of baseball in this conference. Yeah. Seems like every time we have a timeout, Tom, it's a one or zero, a one point game or a tie game. We have some game here. Back down. Tough That's to back down to Breeze. Cuff, as you mentioned, likes to do that. He got it to Bailey. Couldn't go. Hughes tried to come up with it. Does. Gets it to Cuff. Floats it in. Evansville by three. Yeah, you can't close out to Bailey. He's a three-point shooter. He doesn't shoot him. Then Wright's got to have more discipline than that. Guard the drive. That drive opens up offensive rebounding. That's why they got that bucket. Over 10, yes, it's the three, and Drake ties it. Darren DeVries special uh, out of a uh, timeout right there, three-point shot for Overton, who's made four of them now. That's a play he's run for years, and a big shot by the freshman. Really nice play, Overton now with 15 points to lead all scores in this game. And now a whistle away from the basket, and they got Overton with the push. Yeah, he just had his hands out on the drive. Straw bridge with a little sweep to his left. Easy call by Antonio Pettit. Another tie game. you got to be able to remember your personnel. These days in college basketball, there's so much switching. You have to remember the tendencies of more guys, but it's still a critical component of success. Hafner with the miss, long rebound. It's DeVries. Drake's got to score some in transition to win this game. There goes Tucker to the basket, lost it. Here comes Cuff. He has a player to his left in Strawbridge. Can't get it to go. And the ball is going to go back to Drake. That is a missed opportunity for Evansville. As odd as this sounds, a lot of when it's a three on one or three on two, two it's better to get your offensive players wide there are two bunched up there three guys for evansville one guy should have fanned out it leaves more space for a finish that was a tough finish a tough ca catch on the pass and finish under 10 minutes tie ball game devries with strawbridge all over him it's right and it goes for at and right Wright's had a great second half offensively. DeVries, to be honest, he's uncharacteristically unaggressive. Or not, not that he's playing passively, but he's not hunting the shots like he usually does. He's making the right play, but sometimes best players have to go get one sometimes. I'm Hughes. still looking for that to happen. Got bumped by Overton there. That's a foul on Overton. He knew it too, ran into the yeah. big number 11. Hafner, Cuff, thought about it for a moment. DeVries tracking him. Now they switch, and Ferguson is on Cuff. He's driving it. Bailey on Enright, shot clock at two, no. Grazes the rim, and a foul is called on Overton on the sideline, on the baseline. It looks like yes. Yeah. Easy call. If you don't turn your body to go pursue the ball at some point, the ref's going to call that. He continued to block out. You feel like, I'm just blocking him out. But, no, you yeah. just kept moving. you got to go get that ball. Very good defense by Drake to force a contested 18-footer by Bailey. 
But these offensive boards are starting to hate, hurt the Bulldogs. Got to have, again, more discipline on the box outs and pursue that ball. Hughes on Ferguson. Got hey. it. Tough shot by the big fella. He's made a three, a little turnaround. He's blocked some shots. Hughes done a great job off the bench. And again, you see the depth of the talent on this Aces team. And that's why they're so dangerous. Right, lost his footing, but got fouled on the drive. Wants it to count, it won't. And a foul called on the floor. I know I'll keep saying it here, but Wright has continued to be aggressive in the second half. Only three shots, one for three in the first half, up to ten points. He had two points in the first. And Drake's a team where, unlike Evansville, who has, as I said, nine guys who've scored in double digits, Drake's has guys that could score, but really they're, their main few guys have to continue to be aggressive. Their other players are, everybody's a role player, but their other players are complimentary guys. Overton does his job. See if Brody can pick it up a little bit down the stretch here. And right, got it over to Gibson. Now Overton back to right. He yeah. hits the shot. Boy, Atten Wright has let it up. You're right, partner. Yeah, he's feeling it. That's 10 in the second half, and you just see his ability with his He's got physicality to him. He's small, but he stops on a dime, and he's so good in that 6 to 12-foot range. Now Hughes found an opening, got it blocked, and a little bit of a stare from Brody on his way out of bounds. Nice block by the big fellow, recovers. Kind of getting tired of getting beat off the dribble. Hits that one out of bounds. Yep. And I'm all good if they keep playing good offense. It's easier to call those games, huh? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Earlier today, Illinois State beat Indiana State 80-67. to So Drake trying to close to within a game of the Sycamores. They would need more help than that to take this regular season title away from Indiana State. Hughes with the miss. Rebound up in the air. Here comes Wright. He has been on fire. That and Wright lays it in. He is feeling it. Steamrolls to the basket for Drake. 12 and second. Gets the rebound. Great block out by the smaller trait guards. And that's just poor transition defense by Evans. The guys were back. They just never stopped the ball. Hughes now. To Cuff. Wants it back. Hughes gets the lay in. That's just poor defense by Drake. You got to get across the helpline. That ball was on the sideline for about 10 seconds, guys. We're just watching. Take away that layup. Darren DeVries with arms folded, watching closely on the sideline as this one is back out for Wright. He's had the hot hand. Brody looks inside at Gibson. Gets it back to Wright. Shot clock at five. And Wright is on <laughs> fire. Hits the shot, and Drake goes up five. He's had himself a half. If you're Evansville, you have to adjust. you got to put a little more defensive focus on right when he's got the ball. He's making some tough shots, but you, you got to cut off his water. Wright has 17, leads all scorers. Seven for 10 from the floor, and now this one goes in for Bailey. That was a heck of a physical finish going to his left, hanging in the air, shooting a shot off one foot with great touch. Bailey's played probably one of his better games in the last couple of weeks. He looks like a player that's going to be tough to deal with in this league. Absolutely. If you continue to develop a shot, that's what he'll need. But as Wright just went around Humrick House, but Evansville came up with the steal. Yeah, Brody struggled with this game so far, not being very productive. Got to be able to get that ball in the bucket or at least get fouled as Brody overhelps a little bit. And Hughes has been really good. We talked about Tom. He has been. Got fouled on that rebound attempt. He has 10 points, three rebounds, and comes up with the upper hand there and to the free throw line. And Brody, that is now an opportunity to convert here. And Brody just kind of get caught in no man's land. He's looking at the help penetration, but he's not helping, and the shot goes up. And it's true. I don't know if you learned this when you were a young lad. Most shots go opposite. Most misses go opposite, and it is true. Brody's got to get opposite quickly, hit Hughes, and get that rebound. But Hughes has been very good. See if he can convert. And he does. Hughes, Hughes up to nine points. 
He's Couple two blocks. for four from the line, one of two there, two-point game. Looks like we're destined for a heck of a finish here in Evansville. Calling a play here for Wright, see if he can keep it hot. Right, he does. he does. He just spun Strawbridge around and hit the shot. 13 points for Wright in the second half. 19 for the game. Yeah, and that was a play. It took a long time to develop, but that was a play just to get him off that down screen to see if he can create something. Bailey <laughs> with an off-balance shot. That's smooth. He made that shot earlier going to his left. He figured he'd make it tougher and shoot it without the glass. And it goes in. Two-point game again. All right, Brody, you got to make a good decision here. Brody. Oof. Had a second defender come over. Now DeVries has the same. Brody well, draws well, got two. Got to see the other side of the court. Overton spins, runs over Bobe. Shot is no good by Wright, but DeVries saves it. Has it. Shot clock at 15 for Drake. And a foul called away from the basket. These fans and Coach Ragley not happy. They let the, the, the block charge or charge attempt go. Figured he kind of sold it, and then they called that. It was a foul. 68-66, four and a half minutes to go. The shot's going up right here. DeVries, yes, and he got in. the three. Yeah, they have all these actions where he gets handoff. He can shoot it going both directions, which is a very difficult skill, especially that size. But that was, again, a set play call for Tucker. That is the first made three for Tucker DeVries. One for five from beyond the arc. He has 15. Bailey can't get that to go. And right now coming in quickly with DeVries. And the lay-in won't go, but a foul is called. Bailey just a little bit too aggressive there. And you love his aggressiveness, but as a freshman, force that shot. And if you're the, as a coach, you look, okay, it's a force shot. But the force shot turned into a, a layup for, for DeVries. Four shots sometimes is like a turnover because not only could it be a bad miss, but a lot of times your teammates don't you expect you to shoot it. So your transition defense not there. DeVries had a little sidestep shot, was going to take a tough shot, but did a great job throwing his arms into the defender to draw the foul. As he's going to knock this next free throw down, and that'll be five in a row for him. Spreading the lead out here, Tom. This is danger time for Evansville. you got a veteran Drake team who's used to winning with a stud on the line. You don't want to let this thing get stretched out any further. Very good, big offensive possession right now for the Aces. Let's see if they go to Humrick House. See if he can create or get something in the post. He's been quiet lately. 13 points for him for this game. Yeah, the back screen is trying to get the ball right there in the post and right. Great defense, but bad post feed. And right, the bounce and Brody. He, his eyes got big, but he couldn't get it to <laughs> fall. And Enright is skipping down the other end of the floor, wishing. Leading scorer in this game is Atten Wright. Wright with 19 points. Tucker DeVries has 17. Overton with 15. And five players in double figures on the Evansville side as Brody misses the free throw. They are Hummerkaus, Strawbridge, Bailey Hughes, and Toomey really have spread the scoring around and to the delight of this crowd Brody misses two but it's a seven point game this is a big two misses I talked about how important that last possession for Evansville was obviously they turned it over led to that but 0 for 2 leaves the door open for the aces and here we go can they capitalize Brody is a 67 percent free throw shooter Drake's picked, too. Drake's picked up their defense right here on the perimeter. Thomas, nope, and a foul is called. Evansville's kind of plan, exit plan on possessions when they don't have anything going is get to a back down right there. Even Thomas, the starting point guard, gets to a back down and gets to the foul line. We'll see if Evansville picks up full at all, just a little token pressure. Try to see if they could force a turnover. If I'm Drake, obviously you talked about Wright in his second half. They've got a few guys on the court that they can go to, starting with Wright and DeVries. 
Brody not having his best game. I'd let him be an offensive rebounder and a screener. Thomas, an 85% free throw shooter, one of two. Lead is cut to six. Drake threw a haymaker. Evansville still in this fight. And right, followed by Hummerkaus. Yes, that is the 6'9 Hummerkaus following in right. Now Thomas is on him. DeVries against Toomey. Has to be a big stop here for Evansville. And right missing, and the rebound to Bogue. Good possession there, forcing a tough shot by the fourth scorer on the court. Thomas and Enright tried to interrupt that handoff. And now a foul is called at the top of the key. On Enright. And it's on Enright bumping Toomey. Yeah, Toomey he, steps to the line. Yeah, and he's actually just getting in the way of Humrichaus. I think that foul is Humrichaus going to the foul line, not Toomey. He was impeding his progress. Toomey stepped to yeah. the line, and now they said, no, 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 no. Yeah, Humrichaus said, no, I, these are my, these are my free throws. Wait a minute now. Yeah, that, that, he... Uh, you're not allowed to impede the progress of the cutter. And and Enright just kind of got in his way, had his hands up. So the foul was before he bumped into Toomey. They're allowed to check and see who got fouled. Yep. It's one of the rule changes over the last few years. So they're just going to check. They'll confirm that it was a foul. I uh, think so DeVries is talking about it. If, if you're Drake, you want Toomey at the line. He's a 55% free throw shooter as opposed to Hummerick House at... 72. Yeah. You saw the replay there. That's what they're looking at. Yeah, it's Hummerkaus going to the line. We just saw an 85% guy miss one. Obviously, every point is critical when you're down six with 240 left against a team like Drake. Drake can't take the foot off the pedal, obviously. Plenty of game to play here. You don't want to hold the ball. You just execute your offense as if you're in the middle of the game right now. Time is not an issue for either team you got to stay aggressive with your mindset. And they've got a couple guys, of course, that shouldn't have any issue with that. But we'll go back to Brody's two missed free throws, Tom. I and mean, those were two big ones, like I said, that left this door open. We'll see if Drake can shut it or if Evansville can climb through. Hummerkaus hits them both. Cuts the lead to four. Home crowd's going to pick it up here, see if they can motivate this group to get a big stop. Bob tries to slow down right, and he does. It's a miss. He hasn't missed many. Toomey. He'll drive, and Toomey is fouled. That foul is on the floor. But it is a foul nonetheless, and it is to the line with these teams in the bonus. That's a tough call, I thought, also. Caught on Brody, uh, moving his feet. Thought he did a good job with his hands out, but Rick Crawford thought he got illegal. Still in the one-on-one -on -one here, right? Yes. That is foul number nine on Drake. And the miss uh, and the rebound by DeVries. Another big miss. DeVries doesn't start with the ball real often, usually a middle ball screen when he does. They will bleed the clock a little bit, under yeah. two minutes now. They're going to fake this ball screen and just sprint out of it. Just try to clear it out for DeVries. Tucker, no. Rebound. Strawbridge. Thomas. Watch Hummer Kaus at the top of your screen. Toomey gets around him. Toomey takes it himself. Toomey, no, no whistle either. And here comes DeVries. They'll settle things down again. That was good defense by Brody. Slid his feet, forced a tough shot. Good solid shot by Toomey. But you do want to bleed the clock now at this point as they just did. It is your friend now. And you just count on DeVries to make a play or shot. Bob gets the assignment here. Now they switch with Thomas and right. For the killer three, no, Brody couldn't get it back, and it goes to Strawbridge, and Evansville's got a chance. Hummerkaus controlling against Emright, and a timeout is called by Evansville. Yeah, that was a Brody almost had that rebound. Toomey tips it from him, 
It was going out of bounds, but they save it. And then Enright with going on in that timeout, Tom, communicating to your guys. But the main thing is here's the play. Make sure they execute it properly. Make sure they understand to be aggressive and get in the press or call a timeout. Evansville hasn't hit a bucket in over four minutes. It's been all free throws lately to try to draw this game a little closer. They go inside for Hummerkaus, and it was too far. Yeah, you got to foul immediately. Don't even wait. You got to go. Robertson got it, and you got to, don't you? Yeah, you got to. It's tough. I mean, you can, you can play it. It's tough now. Now DeVries guarded by Hummerkaus. They're going to try to run this clock down, get a steal, get a rebound off a missed shot. But you're talking about Tucker DeVries. He gives it up. It's right. He can't get it to go, but the foul is called and right with Drake up by four, has a chance to make it six. Well, Wright's been the MVP of the second half. See if he can finish that MVP. <laughs> Try it at the foul line here with two free throws. But only 25 seconds left now. It's at, it's at four with a chance to go to six. Hatton Wright has had a tremendous game. 21 points on 8 of 13 shooting, 3 of 6 from beyond the arc, 2 for 2 from the line. He has 4 rebounds. And he is a big reason why Drake is sitting here up by 4. A big second half for Wright. Yeah, 19 of those in the second half, I'm, I'm pretty sure. You know, I said you had to foul. You know, it, it's it's a coach's decision, and so you do have time if you get a stop there. Some of it is about your confidence and your defense. Some of it's about how good a free throw shooting the other team is. Obviously, that's worst case scenario that you get to the end of the shot clock, and then it's free throw so they can set their defense. Um, right now, you got to. Some coaches, I used to tell my team, we need a, we need a three at this point. You know, just the odds are we need an aggressive three. Strawbridge, cuff, he buried the three. And Evans lined up in full court pressure. Yeah, it's a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press. They're going to try to steal the ball, but they're going to match up and, again, try to get a trap with some size on it. They get it into right. He is trapped, and yep. a travel call. It is Evansville basketball. It's exactly what you want. Great job by David Raglan and the staff. You want to trap that. A lot of times offensive players just think you're going to foul, and then they panic when you don't. Did he call a travel or out of bounds? I wasn't sure which one he called. Let's it see looked, if there's any kind of foul. It looked like a travel to me. Yeah. Yep. Oh. That he did. It was close. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now do you want to foul? 11.8 left if you're Drake. Do you want to foul? For me, that's a little eh, – it's, it's coach's decision on this one with a three-point game. And a timeout is called by Evansville. Founder is Strawbridge. All five guys that have made a three in this game are on the court for Evansville. Here it is. Strawbridge looks at Cuff. Instead, he goes to Hummerkhaus. Okay, Looks at the clock. At this point, 10. you almost have to shoot a three. Hummerkaus. He takes it. He <laughs> hits the three. 4.4. Here's Enright. He looks for right at the buzzer. Oh! 